In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this really cool transition effect in Canva for your objects. It could be your products, it could be anything, and then closing with a nice question. It doesn't have to be three, you can add as many as you like. And we're starting from a blank canvas. Now first we want to change the background color. So go to elements, and here we type in red gradient. Let's look for photos, see all, and then choose a nice gradient. I kind of like this one with the center a little bit lighter. Now we want to look for different elements and we're going for berries. So let's type in berries, click on photos because we want the realistic ones. And now let's add the raspberries to the slide. Make them a bit smaller. And now let's look for blueberries. So let's refine the search. Blueberries, select the ones that look nice, add them to the slide, scale them down and position them next to the raspberries. Next, we want to look for blackberries. So we're going to change the search again and look for a blackberry. Here we can also choose whichever ones we like. I'm going for a blackberry in the same style. And here you can see I have a background. So you can always use the background remover to remove it. And on these images, you can see that they have a little of a drop shadow. So I want to add that as well, just for consistency's sake. So I go to edit shadows and do a drop shadow. We're going to increase the distance so that it matches the others and increase the blur amount. You can see that the berries scale down a bit. So what you can always do is just increase them again. So they all look about the same size or a realistic proportion. Next, we want to add the text to the slide. So we go to text, title, drag it below one of the boxes. And here we type in blueberry. Let's make it plural, white font, and we scale it down. It can be quite a bit smaller because we're going to increase the images in the end anyways. Hold Option Shift or Control Shift to create a copy and drag it to the side. Change it to Raspberry and then do the same for the other side. Hold Control Shift and here we type in Blackberries. Let's give it a bit more breathing room here and place everything in the center. That looks good. Now what we want to do is we want to select all of the objects, make them a bit smaller. And now we're going to group some parts together. I'm going to close this tab, group the raspberries. Maybe this one, if it's kind of poking out, you can always crop the image and adjust the selection. I think this looks a bit cleaner. Let's group those together. Do the same for the blueberries. So you can hold shift and create, select multiple elements and then click on group. Now we're going to drag them apart. And if you want the same distance, you just select all three, go to position, and then align horizontally. If they're not aligned horizontally, that will show up. So I'll give an example, position, and then align horizontally. And this one will shift the blueberries in the middle. As a next step, we want to increase this size. So you want to give it enough spacing. Now we want to select all three group elements and group them again. So they all act as one shape. Now we're going to hold the option or control key and scale it so that it scales from the center. If you want to zoom out further, you can always hold the toggle here at the bottom and zoom out. So let's increase it in size until it's nicely filling the screen and then zoom in again. This is the end slide that we want. Now let's duplicate the page. And on the first one, we select the grouped item and hold shift and drag it to the, to the right so that the left part appears. So the raspberry, the first one. So that gives us two slides. Now we need to duplicate it once more and then drag it to the other side. If you have more than three objects, you just repeat it one more time. And if we now open up this thumbnail view, we can see that we have three slides, one with the raspberries, one with the blueberries, and one with the blackberries. And that is what we want. Now let's add some finishing touches to it. Go to elements and here type in berries, look for graphics, and maybe let's add a design element to the slide. Let's make it white and then add some transparency to it so that it's very subtle and in the back. Control C and paste it on the other slides as well. Now let's hover in between the slide, add animation and click on magic move. This goes quite fast, so I'm going to increase to 1.2 seconds. Click on apply between all pages. And now if you want a closing slide, you can just add a new page. Let's copy that background and design element, paste it on a new slide and then just add in your title or a question which one is your favorite? You can make it smaller or larger. I'm going to make it white 
so that everything is consistent. And then maybe as a last transition, we can do a flow transition or maybe a color wipe. I think that looks quite good. Of course, the colors are a bit odd. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a different color and then use that same color to make some variants, make some lighter and darker versions so that your color wipe effect looks different and customized for the pages, which is always nice. Now let's add that to a full screen. And this is how you can create this really cool transition effect in Canva in just a few minutes where you can customize it. Now we're using three pages and then closing with a question, but you can add as many as you like. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.